I'm going to talk about is a control a controlled stride to fire. So in a controlled stride, my feet are going to be together, okay? All my weight's going to be on that rear leg, but my feet are going to be together. I'm going to be in a good hinge position. I'm going to start in good posture. I'm going to start in good hinge, and I'm going to control out, and then I'm going to fire, okay? What we want to make sure of is that you maintain your hinge and you maintain your posture throughout your entire swing. So if I'm right here, you can kind of see my hinge. I'm together, I'm hinged, my chest is over, I feel more of the, the weight in my heels, okay? I'm going to go controlled out and then I'm going to swing through, okay? What we don't want to happen is when I control out, I lose my posture. So now see, I've lost that hinge. I've lost that activation in that rear hip. And now I've lost power. Now I'm on my front side. I'm not going to be able to barrel turn. I'm not going to be able to lift it. My time to contact is going to be slower. I'm not going to be able to get there. Okay, we want to be quick. We want to be efficient. We want to create space. So if I'm here and it's controlled, Okay, control it. Stay activated in that hip as long as you can. Remember to a, a good thing that you can look at if you are losing posture, are you going to that toe too quick? So if you get here and you go to that toe, now I've lost my posture. See, I have no spacing. It, there, there's no load in that hip right there. So we want to maintain chest over maintain maintain that posture right there see maintain that posture throughout that entire swing and then i get through okay maintain how do you finish do you maintain your posture we'll slow it down right am i maintaining that hip turn right there am i feeling that hip am i feeling those hamstrings or am i kind of pulling off Am I feeling my back? Am I in a good hinge the entire way through? Or if I'm finishing up, or when I step out to my load, am I losing it right there? 90% of the time we lose load on that stride. We'll lose that rear hip load, we'll lose that hinge. Okay, so now remember, now I get handsy because I'm not loaded in that hip. I don't have good posture. I'm not creating good space. So we'll miss hit a lot. We'll lose power, posture, maintain that hinge, feel it. We want those hamstrings burning. We want to feel the load in that hip. We want to feel the hinge in that hip. Really make sure that you maintain pressure right here on that rear leg. Even when I go to stride out, you wanna maintain pressure through that rear leg. If I lose that pressure, now I've lost that posture. So maintain that pressure in that rear leg, maintain that posture. Now we can really sequence it up with the pelvis and the core and the torso and everything that follows. So posture, posture, posture. Deadlift, deadlift, deadlift. Okay, deadlift with, um, PVC pipes, deadlift with your back. Feel what it feels like to get activation, to get good posture, to, to, to feel an athletic stance, okay? So we wanna maintain that posture. We wanna maintain that space. We wanna create space throughout our swing. We wanna be able to sequence. We wanna be able to rotate right. We wanna be able to have great time to contact. Um, we want to be quick, we want to be efficient, and we want to be adjustable. That's going to make great hitters, and it starts with posture. Check your posture. Yeah. Ever glass, pour it up, waterfall, liquor in my cup, like yeah. 